Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe. That way I know you're enjoying the video. Now let's get started. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining. So today we're gonna learn how to draw a baby elephant. All right, so to start, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pencil. And we'll draw it in pencil first, then we'll go ahead and color it in later. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the side of the head, okay? So I'm just gonna draw a little line, just like that. This is basically gonna be like the elephant's cheek. And from here, I'm gonna draw a line that's still kind of at a little bit of an angle and up with a little bit of a curve to it, okay? Something kind of like that. Um, great. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna draw the elephant's ear. So starting from right where that curve goes, I'm gonna add a line up like that. And then it's gonna have a curve and it's gonna come straight back down to the middle of this line that we first started drawing. Awesome job. Okay, then Next to that line, I want to put another line. This is going to be the outside of the elephant's ear. And it's going to slowly kind of get thicker and thicker and thicker until we get up to the top. And I'm going to draw it back down and connect to the end of the line there. Great job. All right. Then next we're going to continue with the elephant's head. I'm going to draw a line down. Not a lot down, but a little bit down. Line like that, little angle down. All right, and then next we're gonna draw the other elephant's ear. So let's see here. We're gonna draw a line out. Elephants have nice big ears, so we're gonna give it a nice big ear. We're gonna draw a line kind of down like that. Okay, then we're at least gonna start from here. Nice thick ear. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to keep it the same angle or the same shape as this line on the outside, okay? And now it's going to be the opposite because this time we're starting at the thicker side, so we're going to make it go thinner, okay? Just kind of slowly make it go thinner. I'm going to draw a little bit further down. Great job. All right, then I'm gonna draw the other side of the elephant's head. So where we made this line here down, we're gonna continue with that, go like this, and then it jets out just a little bit, kind of starts to come back around. Just like that. All right, great job. And then right in the corner, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a line down, and it's gonna connect to that inside part. And then we're gonna draw another one. And All right, then we're gonna go ahead and connect this bottom line here. Like that. All right, awesome. I'm gonna put a little line on the inside just to make it look a little bit more like an ear. All right, great job. Now we're gonna continue drawing the head. So now we're gonna work on like its jaw area. Okay, so it goes like that. And then we'll put a little line down for the mouth. Then a line back up like that. Okay, now I'm actually gonna jump back up to where we started. So I'm gonna jump up here. I'm gonna draw a line in, and this is gonna be working on its trunk. Okay, a line in just like that. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line a little bit further out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna make it just go up at a little bit of an angle. And we're gonna go up just a touch below the elephant's ear, okay? So if you kind of eye it, it's gonna be a touch below. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a little curve to it. Because elephant's trunks, the ends aren't quite flat. Just gonna draw a little line down like that. And it gets skinnier towards the end. So this side's gonna be skinny and it's gonna get thicker down here, okay? So slowly we're gonna make it get thicker. 
little bit bigger. Awesome. And I'm going to go a little bit further in than what I did here. Because it's also going to connect to the elephant's smile. Okay. I'm going to give it a little smile line like that. And from here, I'm going to start right where the line of the trunk was. And I'm going to put a line down. And this is going to be with the elephant's mouth, okay? And it's going to connect back up like that. And I'm going to go ahead and give this elephant a tongue. It's going to have this inside part like this. With just a little line. Right, and then where this is, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it like that. All right, and then right next to that, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little triangle and this is gonna be the back side of the elephant's ear. So it's just gonna be the bottom tip, so not that much. Just a little bit like that. Okay, then the elephant's trunk typically has some lines in it. So we're gonna go ahead and just give it some lines won't do that many. Just like that. All right, great job. Your elephant's looking fantastic so far. Okay, next let's go ahead and let's give this elephant some eyes. So right where this trunk is here, we're gonna draw one eye up. We're just gonna draw the top three quarters of the eye because it kind of disappears under the trunk, okay? Just like that. We'll give it a couple eyelashes. And an eyelid, just like that. Okay, then on the inside, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw that pupil. So I'm just gonna draw a circle. Like that. I'm gonna draw one more circle on the inside. And this circle is actually gonna be black when I color it in later. And I'm gonna draw two other tiny ones and those I'm gonna leave white. And that's gonna make it look like the eye is shiny. Okay, then we're gonna draw one more eye. And we're, again, we're gonna draw that bottom eye line. So where the eye rests, we're gonna draw up. This elephant has big, pretty eyes. So we're gonna give it big eyes like that. And again, we're gonna give this little circle on the inside, like that. That's the part that we're gonna color black. And we're gonna leave a couple little circles that we're just gonna leave white. And then just like we did in the other eye, we're gonna give this eyelid. It's just kind of the same shape that the eye is, but just gonna extend just a little bit. And then we'll do some eyelashes on this side. And these are basically just lines, nothing fancy. And then we'll do some eyebrows. This is just kind of like this. And on this side, we'll do another one. All right, awesome job. Your elephant's looking great so far. All right, next we're gonna draw the body of the elephant. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start right kind of in between where the ear and the mouth is. I'm gonna start at a line down, not a straight line. I'm gonna curve it in like this, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw a leg, the first leg, and we're gonna make it look like it's walking. So kind of jets out a little bit. This is gonna kind of be where its knee is. It's gonna to connect to where the other leg is going to be, okay? So from here, we're gonna go ahead and draw another line up and down. It's gonna connect even to where this leg is, but we're gonna go past it, okay? We're gonna keep going because this foot is all the way on the ground while the other one's walking. Okay, and it's gonna come out just a little bit I'm gonna do a circle. It's kind of like a, a curved line, like that. Okay. From here, we're gonna go up. 
And this line's gonna be a little bit of an angle. It's not gonna quite be straight up and down. It's gonna be a little bit of an angle, okay? Just like that. Great job. I'm gonna make a little crease at the end. That way it looks like it's attached. All right, now this elephant needs toenails. So we're gonna go ahead and put three toenails on each foot, okay? They have nice big toenails. These are nothing more than just curved lines like this. They don't have to be perfect. Okay, then continuing on from where this line was, so you can see we're at an angle. So we're gonna pick off right here. and connect it like that. All right, now, to make sure that I get everything kind of proportional, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start up by the ear. We're gonna draw the back of the elephant and then we're gonna finish with the legs, okay? So, we made this line, so we're gonna go a little bit below that and over, and that's where we're gonna start the back, okay? Just draw a line like this. I'm gonna draw a little bit of a line because they sometimes have a curved back. I'm gonna draw a line like this. Okay. And now you can see this line is on its way back up, right? So we're gonna make it seem like it's almost like connecting, connecting like that. Okay. And from where it connects, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of a line down. We're gonna change directions and we're gonna go even to where this foot is, okay? All right, perfect. So now we're gonna draw a line across, kind of like we did with that other one, just a curved line. They have nice big feet. I'll draw a line up. I might actually, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna make this foot a little bit bigger. I'm gonna draw a line up like that. I'm gonna put a little crease this line's gonna go up. And that in. And again, like we did here, I'm gonna go ahead and add like a crease. That just makes it look a little bit more realistic, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and connect these two like that. And now, we're gonna go ahead and add toenails on this foot. So again, just three toenails. Nice big toenails. They don't have to be perfect. Awesome. And then lastly, we're gonna add one more leg. So we're gonna put one in the back like this. Again, kind of add that dome shape. And connect it back, okay? And again, we're gonna put the three toenails on. One, two, and we'll do a third one just like that. All right. Now, lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a tail, okay? Because elephants do have tails. So it's gonna start off a little bit bigger at the end and kind of just come a little bit smaller. Not a lot, but a little bit. We're gonna add a bushy tail at the end, okay? like that, and then it comes to a little bit of a tip. All right, great job. So what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and color this in. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up. If you'd like, pause the video at the end and you can match all the colors that I did. Um, otherwise, you're welcome to use whatever colors you'd like. I'd love to see what you came up with. So as you can see, I chose to do the ears pink and the body gray, and I did the tail black. Uh, but I'd love to see what colors you guys came up with and what you did. Uh, feel free to tag me 
um, in any social media posts. Otherwise, remember, trying always takes practice. So practice, practice, and always have fun. Thanks for watching, everyone.